Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, session 37, like I thought it was, but then got it wrong. It's the 20th of February 2020, I am Ryan the GM, here are the players. Hi, I'm Adrian, I play Arya Bluebird, the half of Druid. Hi, I'm Scott, I'm playing Grumbar, who's a half-orc paladin. Hi, I'm Sophie, I play Kitlith Anastasia, a wood elf rogue. Hello, I'm Stuart, I play Reach, a half-elf monk. Perfect. With no previous recordings to contradict us at all. Nope. Not at all. <laughs> I just realised everyone's a half something. Except me. A pure wood elf baby. I mean I mean, I mean technically you're half cat or something. Former cat. Like... <laughs> Former cat. Former cat. No, <laughs> so we've got obviously we've got we've got our half elves, right? So really they make one elf between them. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you're... Okay, I'll be the elf, I'll be the human. <laughs> um, we've got... No, because to get these are half-elf, right? So you just go together. Um, Eric's a full human, right? You've got Kitty, who is a wood elf. You've got... <laughs> um, yeah. like, And you are a half-orc in name only, because that's like a slur yeah. by orcs. Even though mechanically from the book you're a half-orc, but you're considered in this world to be a full orc. So... You're not really a half fork. Is that a fork? Yeah. <laughs> you, you, are, you are a fork. <laughs> which ironically would suggest a split, which he is not. So, yeah. But anyway, our new goal system that we'll talk about very briefly. Um, cool. We now have five goal slots. We pick them. Team goals. Go team. Here are the goals so far. Goal one. Get word to the great gold worm about Gil. I put that in slot one because I figured it's maybe going to be there for a bit. Goal 2. Figure out how to close hellholes as a team safely. Goal 3. Learn Infernal from Crumbar. Goal 4. Lend our aid to the <laughs> Citadel, i.e. the Abyss. Goal 5. Figure out Ermos's location. All good? Probably, we should probably specify who is learning uh, Infernal. Yeah. So I could learn Infernal and that would still win. do that then. <laughs> Even though it's Adri's colour, but yeah. Arya. There we go. Done. Arya, yeah. learn Crackle. Yep, crack, crackle, burn, burn. <laughs> Alright, good. Burn, baby, burn. And now, the recap. Who remembers what happened last time? I don't remember last <laughs> night, let alone last night. <laughs> I think that was five minutes ago, by the way. Yeah. I did listen. <laughs> like we did just go over that off record. <laughs> oh dear. But so yeah. the... the I can't remember, but... Uh, Polish princess, what's her name? Justoria. Uh, <laughs> Justoria, yeah, cool. Right, that's, that's actually, yeah. Right, uh, oh, she became demon after closing a hellhole, half demon, then felt better in the morning. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's good enough, Sam. <laughs> and then felt better in the <laughs> I am. Um, Adri, did you manage to listen to any of what you missed? Yes, I did, I did. Yeah, that's good. what I like. Yeah, good. Felt better in the morning, really? <laughs> I mean, she kind of did, to be honest. Yeah, um, yeah so to re-summarise that, and by that I mean expound on it, the uh, Princess Justoria had taken a lot of downtime since the last time you had like, seen her close one of the hell holes. She seems to have got better at it, if you can consider her seemingly being infused with demonic energy, better. Um, but it, she was kind of back to herself in the morning, as opposed to taking, like, weeks. So that's an improvement I guess. Our cooldowns have got shorter. Um, <laughs> besides that, you just parted ways with her. You just wandered down south towards the, as I say, the OG hellholes. One of the first two you were given by Justoria. You just went and checked that out and you kind of passed a dead giant on the way there. You just then decided it looked kind of dead and kind of poisoned pot potentially. So yeah, all the land was a bit warped and decayed because of the, the hellhole's presence. You just got there, and Magna, our lord and saviour, and king, everybody's favourite king, was there, uh, uh -huh. looking kind of bored, and like he was trying to work something out. Had a brief chat with you guys about kind of why you were there, and then left. Then you went and camped out with the radius of the the effects of the hellhole, and then Eric used the hammer to get you guys to go to Horizon, 
and you all fell through the portal and that's where we cut to black. So, opening on all of you seeing <laughs> a rush of red as you are like hurtling through red space and then the bright light and like wave of heat that hits you guys as you hit solid ground and can we get some dexterity saves to see who lands on their feet you need a 10 or higher how do you do rolls again <laughs> hey, oh, is this is this as a saving throw it's yeah a saving throw it's yep top left of your sheet should have them is it dexterity what? yeah Oh man, I thought mm -hmm. that was my <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Well, still passed, but still. Mm -hmm. I did a double flip and landed on my feet. Mm -hmm. did a, I did a double flip and landed on my face. <laughs> 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 wow, the only yes. one that does. <laughs> That's fantastic. Um, also, because yeah, you're so large. And, it's also and in plate mail, right? And, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a lot of momentum to negotiate. So I tried to do the superhero land and forgot the fist and just went straight down into the ground. Yeah, with face. Face, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, something else I'm going to add just um, about the goal system. See, when you complete a goal, um, mm -hmm. the person whose goal it was you completed, as in the colour, the person that suggested the goal, will get inspiration automatically. Mm -hmm. It's a good idea. Yeah, I figured that. It's going to be better. I'm so happy I suggested too. Yes, so. Keep me right on that when you complete goals. Remind me that you have inspiration. That's a thing. Um, they don't stack, so if you have it, use it liberally. Remember, you can gift it to somebody as well. So if you, like if Arya's watching Crumbar do something, you can say, have my inspiration, that's cool. Um, and you can give it away and such. Make sense? Yep. But I do like that as well, because it gives a mechanical reason to involve inspiration beyond me just going, oh, that was cool, have it. Because I don't just want it to be on me. I want it to be uh, on the, the goal completion. So, yeah, Adri's very right. She has two recommend, like, suggested goals in there, which means, yeah, she's a... Uh... Inspiration. Yeah. Generally... I mean, let's say I'll probably give them to, like, when you guys, when one of you guys need it, but still... Also, see if it does get down to three people shout the same goal at me. I'm going to pick the person that doesn't have a goal on the board already. That seems fair as well. Makes sense, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, just for a kind can of... Can we not just, like, battle royale for it? I mean, you can, but with words to the point where you all say the same goal and then I pick the person that doesn't have one on the board. Yeah, battle royale, like that? Good. Seems um, legit. Yeah, I think so. It seems fair. Uh, Oh, yeah, uh, so just another wee kind of reward for actually like, people suggesting stuff as well to keep everybody involved, mm. which I think is good. But you all land, I think Reach maybe lands and does a superhero landing as per. Um, everybody else managed to land without taking any damage. Crumbar, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't land on the floor, the floor lands on me. Or <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you think. Uh, he takes seven damage. Mother. Why did I come back to this game? <laughs> <laughs> With a bang. Um, you stand up. There's the kind of smell of Horizon. You've been here long enough to know the kind of the the weird scent that's in the air. Um, the kind of thick with magic scent. You look around, and Eric didn't come through with you. Oh. So, you look around. You are in the plaza, kind what of marketplace. What on earth has he done? And may I just have a small editor's note here and say, due to the lack of. Eric and Callum in this session, I would recommend you don't focus too much on his absence. In character, that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think <laughs> I think our main goal would just be try and get, find the policy bit. Yeah, you have been there enough times, right? Yeah. yeah, but isn't this the place that the things move about and you can't get to where you want to go because mm -hmm. reasons? 
Uden if they don't want us to get there oh, to think about it. Exactly. Ah, right. In that case, uh, tally ho troops, let's stomp off. Now, remember, you were looking to go to the office of the princess. Um, yeah. Not the palace itself. Right? So it's, like, it's like the, the building that kind of deals with all the, you know, if you want an audience with her, you would go there and request it officially, blah, blah, blah. But really, what you were doing there was going to try and leave a message there under the guise of the Rainwood Estate trade agreement. Yeah. You just don't have mm-hmm. Lord Rainwood. We just don't have a Rainwood. Yeah. yeah. Enough, the Rainwood Estate rained down <laughs> on. Yeah, I would stop uh-huh. <laughs> It did yeah. indeed. Yeah. Um, Surely we yeah, can, that, um, you know, that, that, speak that on behalf funny. of him. Hey, I mean, does MD have any official documents saying that no, these are? Okay, does MD have any proof of this? Um, or he's going to dress Crumbar up in fancy clothes. Yeah. Just please do that. <laughs> surely, <laughs> surely, if you were to try and disguise me, you would take off my clothes. That's more. That's we, more appropriate. More okay. Okay. Okay, 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 we okay, we're going to dress up peaches. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, we'd want to hide the tusks and the green skin, I think, if we were trying to make you look human. <laughs> so, uh. What do you mean, Lord Rinwood's always been an orc? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, I have that disguised self. You Maybe. do indeed. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, you could be him. You definitely <laughs> can, can pose as, as Lord Eric Rinwood. This oh, is do it. Harry Potter level shit. Or <laughs> you could maybe try. You know, it's so cool, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's just that when she speaks, it's going to be really obvious, right? Yeah. You can do she it. Can <laughs> lot, so. No, 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 no. She can cough a lot, like constantly, and we'll be speaking on behalf. Actually, lords don't speak. They just wave their hands. Can I just go away? <laughs> I just look like very bored. Like roll my eyes a lot. And... Yeah. <sighs> okay. Think you've got this possible. in the bag. And just think, anything you steal will be, be a lot Lord more Greenwood fun steals. if you're still at the back. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, why have you not seen that? <laughs> Chaos theory mostly. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, these are in the plaza slash marketplace of Horizon and you just look around, you just notice a lack of Lord Rainwood. What happens? Uh, well, I think we all realise if he's not here we can't do anything, so uh, that's not worked, has it? It has, yeah. It's, it's clicked in the chat. Oh, okay. Mm. Or at least I can see it. Oh, I thought it was going to come up with like a dice roll of how effective it was, like how much of me would transfer. <laughs> no, that's up to people looking at you. Ah, uh, okay. So, your spell save DC, it's on your spells page at the top. What is it? 13. Do you want to type DC 13 in the chat just underneath it? Cool. So, that's the number I need to beat for people looking uh, okay. at you to suss you out. So at the very bottom it says, to discern that you are disguised, a creature can use its action to inspect your appearance and must succeed on an intelligence investigation check against your spell save DC. So there you go. Just out of curiosity, do they need to reach 13 or higher or do they need yes. to reach 14? So it's always meet, meet it. So like, it's the same as your AC. Meet. Okay, cool. Yeah, meet or exceed. So, so you just instantaneously hit the ground, look around, spot a lack of Eric and just think, oh, I'll disguise myself? Or are you just mm-hmm. posting that in there for the the info? No, I was I was posting it there because if we teleport in without a uh, reason to be there, then yeah. So I just sort of did a quick like think process. I cannot do words today. It's okay. So <laughs> like to keep in mind you s- people teleport in and out of Horizon a lot. It's not advised unless you have like stable teleport like circles if you will you, you mean that thing that we didn't have yeah but you just have something gifted to you or had I'll highlight something gifted to you by the god of travel <laughs> that kind of is like the trump card for a lot of that you know it's also the only reason why Eric was able to teleport from where he was with the king to horizon with you guys the first time Mm. No teleport spell would have done that because 
he had never been there, and he was in like the palace grounds as well. So that was quite a big deal that he was able to make it there. It's just that obviously Eric doesn't know much about teleportation, so that wouldn't have occurred to him. But yeah, it's quite a big deal. Hammer's cool. quite a, you know, blunt force instrument, as it were, for teleporting. So a teleporting dagger would be better. I mean, I know someone that has one of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you land, and then, so if that thought goes through your head, okay, do you say anything to the group about the lack of your own voice? <laughs> uh... <clears throat> I mean, where did we teleport into exactly? The plaza where, like, it leads to like the bigger market in Horizon. So they know we're really specific. Like, I mean, specific's a difficult word in Horizon. I'll give you like that. Yeah. It's effectively suck your whole street. Yeah, you know, but then that doesn't really make any. You know, you're in. It doesn't get, help you know, most of the people here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just sort of wondering. If it if it was wise to disguise myself now or closer to where we needed to be, I'll try to find yeah, a gym's toilet that you can go into. <laughs> this change yeah. is going to be awkward. Yeah. It's like go down a back alley. Surely you need a unisex yeah. toilet now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, who knows what they have here? Yeah. Cupboards, yeah. probably. Yeah. Magic cupboards. Oh, we could just go on a side alley and mm-hmm. yeah. you know. He's coming for somewhere like that. I just. At the moment, though, nobody said anything to each other. That's my means of landing and looked around. Um, I will just probably lie in a pile on the floor, just being like, "Ow!" Oh. Look, it's an orc <laughs> angel. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. I'm. Well, we seem to be missing Are you all right? Sorry, what was that? Like you kind of doubled on yourself. I couldn't hear what you were saying. I was the one that asked, are you alright? And then Kitty said, we seem to be missing someone. I just stand up and like brush myself and go, oh. but, and just go, I'm right here. <laughs> Aye, but somebody important's missing and we need them. Uh, anything we can do about it. I mean, I can disguise yeah. myself. Yeah. So. And like, I, I think we just like, just casually says that. It's just like, everyone just kind of looks at it like, something important. That's, and you're telling us this now. <laughs> so we didn't need him all this time. You could have just like disguised yourself. <laughs> it's just like, we, it's, yeah, it's like. I mean, what? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to this point to remind you guys how crucial Eric has been in many situations. Oh yeah, <laughs> he has. But Savage Kitty. Like, <laughs> I'm just now thinking. You see me I'm like. My head. I'm just now thinking. I'm like. How many people have we actually met, and how many people were just kitty fucking with? Us? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I've been with you guys for the most part, haven't I? <laughs> That's what makes it so confusing. <laughs> but yeah, so you suggest you can disguise yourself. Everybody kind of looks at you blankly. Do you elaborate, or do you just walk off? I just, I just like this idea that all you do is just draw like a mustache on your face. <laughs> Even though Eric didn't have one. <laughs> that's, that's what I mean. Like that's why I thought it was gonna roll like an action, like uh-huh. so I could see how deceptive my deception was. <laughs> so no, it depends like, on how yeah, convincing. <laughs> like your magic talent is what hides you, which is good. Yeah. Um, but acting out of character, if people know. Obviously, like, like if you bumped into his great aunt or something, you know, that's going to be a much easier check for them to recognise you're not who you are. Yeah. But then you can, like, try and roll performance and deception and stuff, depending on what you're doing. Yeah. So that's when it gets, like, dice rolling, which will be interesting. But just for the average person, like, if people were looking out for illusions, for example, they, mm. they would get a chance to roll on that check and they would either notice or not, right? And in a city full of magic, you can imagine there's probably yeah, a lot of people... Yeah, why would you look for that? No, I mean, like, there's probably a lot of people able to see that, right? Also, yes, perfect, perfect gif. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Uh, but yeah, so, 
where do you or like how do you pose this to them like do you let them know how well like how does she physically pose no just be oh like, my God. Like, like keep in mind that you aren't really like because you can see this from a meta point of view you's, you don't know instinctively the capabilities of i think most of you have seen her like flamethrower people with her hands before and cast magic missile, I think, is pretty much the most part. Yep. Yeah. So, I mean, realistically, when you called her like a rogue previously as Crumbar, like, you wouldn't think of her as that. You'd probably think her mm. more as like a wizard or sorcerer, given what she's done. <laughs> so, yeah, that's actually true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A stabby wizard, right enough, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, wizards can stab things too, right? With varying degrees of success, yes. <laughs> Not as good as, uh, okay. But anyway, so, back in the game. What do? What's the so, we're gonna need some form of representation to get in to see Justoria. Are we going to see Justoria? What are we doing again? <laughs> we're gonna go see our emissary, I guess. Yeah, her secretary. Yeah, secretary. Oh, okay, well, if we need kind of question, mostly why? Yeah. <laughs> like, what we're we doing? Why we're we doing it? Was it just to see if anywhere needs help? Yeah, basically to check up on her and then mention that. Pass. I can't remember. <laughs> why were we yeah, coming here again? I can't remember at all why as well. So. You were going to mention the other hellhole that Magna was Yes, at. yeah, the one that Magna was at. Yeah, because he then he closed that, though. You don't know that. He was there and it was closed. Yes, that, that was it. Yep. Aye, um, and then we're just going to Which means like... you don't know if Justoria closed it, he closed it, oh. if something happened. Because remember, she was supposed to meet you there. Yeah, and she would Yes, leave. yes. And she didn't show, that's why we came here, yeah. But Magna was there instead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we want to come here to make sure she's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Words are coming. No memories are coming back to me. Because her yeah. dad is scary, and even she seems to be scared of him. So. Basically, I mean, I think we should probably try just try and seek an audience with her and be like, "What up?" Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, we're gonna need. Lord Eric Rainwood of the Rainwood Estate. I, mean, I can disguise myself if need be. Can you roll an intelligence check for me, please, Sophie? And by that, I mean K. Yeah, I was going to say, because my intelligence. <laughs> uh, oh, is it the saving throat? No. Nope, just no. the actual intelligence no. stat. There we go. Perfect. Cool. Ah, smart. So. It occurs to you, right? Maybe maybe just as you're about to like think where to go or where to cast the spell or whatever, it occurs to you it doesn't need to be Eric that you appear as, does it? Oh, his daughter. His sister. <laughs> daughter. I think we were at what? <laughs> <laughs> Plot <Blood> twist. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it could be sister. Maybe oh, easier. King himself. <laughs> Oh, you get people to move, won't it? But then what? <laughs> but then what? <laughs> I just like the idea. <laughs> I just like the idea. You just being like, I made this mustache for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Bits of a broom you've taped together. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it occurs to that it doesn't need to be him. It can be, but it doesn't need to be because you've seen Livian as well. Well, I mean, I, remember. I think it's, it's probably the better option, really, because I wouldn't have to disguise my voice so much, you know? But it's up to you and the group. <laughs> I had a much funnier scenario in my head where she pretends to have lost her voice due to the cold and we just speak <laughs> for her. And she just kind of gestures, because obviously, inevitably, Crumbar would say something inappropriate or bad or whatever. And <laughs> Wow. Isn't oh yeah, that all happened in my head. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, where do you go to do this? Or are you just going to do it in the middle of the plaza? I'll probably find a, a, a back alley somewhere. Like just 
casually walk past and then like duck in. Yeah, no, there, there is definitely many places to duck in, as it were. <laughs> the duck in being one of them. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you go there. Every day following you, or are you just gonna like wander off and say I'll be back in a minute? Uh, I'll just have them casually stand at the ed at the entrance and like you know make it very inconspicuous. Yeah. Why is something that's happening down there? Like if you were changing your clothes in public and your friends were making your privacy wall. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so you do that. You cast the spell. Do you want to burn off a spell slot for me? Oh yes. And is it Eric or Livian you're going to go as? <laughs> uh, Livian. Livian. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Oh, so good. Oh, it could have been so much more fun. <laughs> I know, right? My reason for going as Eric would be like, well, I, I know what he looks like very in great detail because he has been very much naked. Quite a few years. <laughs> <laughs> I could get those details down. <laughs> could be completely anatomically correct. Yeah. Or hilariously incorrect, depending. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Extra toe. <laughs> Not the toes thing again, right? Giant toes, okay? <laughs> Moving on. Stop uh, selling people's toes. <laughs> you cast a spell. How what like what's the visuals? What's the what's the effects budget on this one? Um do you describe how uh, it looks? It's just like a, kind of like a gust of wind, mm -hmm. but it sort of wraps around and Kind of like Cinderella esque yeah. when she's getting a fancy dress on. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. <laughs> Pretty much. That's okay. bibbidi bobbidi motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> bibbidi bobbidi boo. <laughs> okay, so we know what your magic magic words are for disguise self. Um, good, good. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, you walk out because it, it literally takes like six seconds or less to cast. You say some words, yeah. wave your hands around. The light spins around you, the wind kind of gusts around, and then you just kind of Cinderella yourself some new clothes. Yeah. And a new face. Mm hmm Yep. And I can't remember any of the details of Livian, other than she was a woman, and I think she was blonde. I don't know. I think. Wow. She looks like she be Eric's sister. Yeah. Um, so... This obviously bodes well for my character. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just transformed to someone I don't remember looking like. So, could be her. It could just be is, so, like, we can assume Kitty remembers. Uh, like, yeah. I'm not going to make <laughs> your role to remember her because you did have a dinner <laughs> with her and you spoke to her in like the kitchen and stuff like that. So, yeah, it'd be different if you tried to mimic like his little sister, um, because you didn't have as much exposure to her. So, yeah. Maybe rolls would have happened then, which would have been hilarious. But yeah, you've got an hour of being living. All right, guys. And then we find go. out the queues are like one and a half hour long. <laughs> one hour, one minute. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> damn, damn it. Um, but yeah. So, what's the plan? Go kick over some stalls as living, or? <laughs> well, we'll make our way to. Yeah. Now that you said that, that does sound like a fun idea. Um, yeah, we'll make our way to the office -y bit, I guess. Yeah, so, like the office of the princess, yeah. So, you head there. I takes a bit of time to get there. Again, horizon being weird. Every time you get to like the edge of a district, you need to go through like one of the kind of gates that connect you to another district because everything's like segmented off. And so. You wait to find, obviously, which way you're meant to go. Good thing is, Kitty's quite well versed in Horizon in general, so. Because I live there. I was, I was gonna say, I kind of hope so. It's like, <laughs> it's like I, I didn't live there. I just got lost there. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. It's like, it's, like, it's like a once a day occurrence for most people in Horizons. Like, oh yeah, I forgot they moved it to the other gate. Okay, and then off they walk to another side of the, the sector. But um. Yeah, so like, I have a, had a way of detecting where things were by maybe scent as when I was a cat, like sort of mm -hmm, stick your yeah. nose at the portal and be like, no, nope, no, nope, that's not the Baker's Street. No, nope, no, nope, yeah, it's nope, like nope. there's always a baker near this portal because he likes to get <laughs> yeah. to there on his lunch break. Yeah, yeah, stuff like that totally makes sense. Yep, 
And um, he, he, you, you as Livian, even, uh, it takes, Still about, <laughs> takes about 20 minutes to get to the office. Um, uh, you get there, you head in. Does everybody go in or is it just you? I mean, it's up to them. I think we all go I mean, in. I'll, I'll go, go in. in. Yeah, it's that we'd all go in. So I like that, maybe that scene of, you know, Kitty as Livian stands up to the door, turns around on the step and sees everybody's really close, like they're all half a step in leaning towards her. <laughs> it's like, I guess we're all going in then. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, right, you head in and there's like a clerk at the kind of big marble desk. I think it'd be better if one of us talked as well, but it doesn't really matter. But, uh, I mean, Kate you know. sounds like a woman. She's disguised as a woman. It is, it is a woman. You but normally, a lady you would have someone else help. talking for her. Yeah. You normally have the help do the work. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is, is that it? <laughs> um, no, it's just that that person at the desk is not important enough for Olivia to bother speaking to them. Like when we're in front of Justoria, yeah, well, well, she would bother speaking to her, right? Exactly. This maybe, is the problem maybe with human nobles, by the way. This is the problem with human <laughs> nobles, that right there. Classism. Yep. yep. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe not have the golden order guys yeah. go up and be like, "Yo, good point." I'd yeah. suggest Andrew do it. Yeah, an important person. I should leave her alone. Then I suppose I don't know. You're talking. Yeah. You just kind of introduce her and say she's here to speak to uh, the princess. Are you saying I should do it? Yeah. yeah. We'd be more likely the hired guards or the, the or the, the governing guards. You'd also just be here in totally separate business if you really had to be <laughs> unrelated. I mean, I like business. Okay. Should this be the moment where I remind everybody that I'm also wearing a golden order half plate? Are you? You're yeah, playing? Borrowed yeah, one, did you? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, did you? I didn't know that. Yeah, she's been like, like from what since you like bought everything access to the, yeah. Exactly. In my in my defense, I maybe wasn't present <laughs> for that session, so you you were because you're the one who <laughs> you, spent you were, your story you point. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it, it was literally like. You, okay, you, well, in in that yeah. in so, uh, that case, so while everybody takes a moment. To think about what they're wearing, who they're meant to I'm be, the and why they're meant yeah. to be here. Philippe, we are honestly way better at this normally. Just say. <laughs> All of us have been so bad. Uh-huh. Yep. Same. I'll step up to the reception. Mm-hmm. The, uh, Lady Rainwood is here to see Princess Justoria. Oh. And then the, um, the kind of, you know, middle aged looking man clerk at the, uh, the desk looks up and he kind of like twitches his. Uh, kind of pointed moustache and he, he leans down and looks at the ledger and he says I don't see any appointments for today uh, do you have your documentation and he puts a hand out to you, Livian <laughs> uh, I start patting myself down <laughs> I, I say surely Lady Rain what's his name again? Rainwood um <laughs> Surely Lady Rainwood doesn't need documentation. We do not want to keep her waiting, right? I mean, my brother never needed documentation. Are you trying to be sexy, buddy? (laughs) The man, like, leans over, like, as if, like, past you two to see um, Arya, and then uh, he kind of leans back in and looks up and says, If you don't have a preset appointment, I'll need to see some official documentation so that not just anyone has walked in from the streets. And he points at like the doors pointedly behind you guys. I think I'd just kind of lean in and be like, do you think just anyone would be walking around with three gold and order guards with her? And can I just I'll take a wee pause here. Uh, Eric had his family seal ring, so he always had documentation on him. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> not that you would yeah, actually have officially could've... know that, but I know. Yeah, Kitty. this guy's would have included that, shouldn't it? Nope. Because Eric wore that. 
Right. The ladies don't wear it as well. They can, can belong to anyone. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <No. laughs> it's just Eric went travelling, so took official documentation with him. Right. Yes, it comes as your noble background. Uh, I think you got a scroll of pedigree as well. <laughs> yep. Oh my God. Like, yep. Like for, for dogs? Nope. Just as no. Moving on. Um, more of like these horses. More to yeah. say, <laughs> all nobles will have a way to prove who they are. Kitty just looks like Livian. That is it. So, that's the situation you are in. And then we're back in the part where somebody said about three golden order. It's like many nobles have many businesses with many things. The man gestures wildly with his hand and a quill. And he kind of looks back at the, the ledger and then scribbles something in it, closes it back over. Well, yeah, if you just inform yeah, Historia that the Rainwood he estate puts a finger is up here. To interrupt you, he goes, Princess Historia. <laughs> oh. On great terms we are. She asked me to drop the princess part, so. <laughs> If that was the case, your name would be in this book. And he gestures towards the big kind of ledger. If you look Surely at that was an overseen, something like, overseen by somebody here, not... Is, you're oh, you're not, of face, course, assuming the princess so made a mistake. You have said, like, his face sours as soon as you look. <laughs> I'll have you know this office makes no mistakes. If you have no official business, I will ask you to leave, or you will be escorted out. And then he like clicks his fingers, and then maybe he's noticed there's like constructs at either side of the room that step off that aren't just statues, and they clunk, 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 clunk like big golems. Oh, Is sure. Rainwood in your book? Any member of the Rainwood family in your book? Surely they should be. This, sir, is not a library. I wasn't wanting to read. <laughs> <laughs> and this uh, is pissing me off. So what do you, what do, you do? This man essentially uh, needs, used to prove this is Lady Rainwood. Or leave. How about we do both? We find a way to forge that sort of thing and we then come back. Lady Rainwood have a tattoo in her. <laughs> How close did Kitty get? No. <laughs> I was just about to say. <laughs> I was going to say that's really a detail you want to ask Callum, but I thought you probably don't really want to ask Callum for details about his imaginary <laughs> sister's inner. Th no, a pox on you if you do. So, so yeah. What's the plan, guys? You just all leave the office. You stay in the office. Um, I think we should leave. I mean, if we make enough commotion, do you think she'll come down? <laughs> it's just annoying. It's like, if she literally was told someone from the Rainwood estate was here, she'd actually maybe wave us in kind of thing, but no. But remember, you are meant How to do about... this official process to keep it on the lowdown, not say, hey, I'm best buds with uh, Historia <laughs> that is in, pal. <laughs> How about we leave a letter for her and say that if he doesn't pass it on to her, she will be most displeased. I mean, surely we have a way to like seal a letter. Well, I mean, first of all, from the way he's talking, it does at least sound like she's here, <laughs> which is a good thing because there it's cleared up whether or not she was a uh, like something was wrong so what i'm thinking is we could probably twist his arm and be like well we actually she was meant to meet us but did uh, a few days ago but didn't show that might be some secret plan of hers that this guy doesn't know so we probably shouldn't reveal that mm, and we also mind. probably shouldn't fight the little the big construct things, even though there's a part of me that would find that very fun. The the interesting thing about your plan, Scott, is you and Sophie seem both hell-bent on undoing the reason for this sidebar. Yeah, I mean, like, quiet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
according to the books. I like to cause a bit of But there was nothing to say you couldn't go write a letter and like seal it with some wax or something. There's, like, mm-hmm. I actually think somebody has a writing kit. I don't know who it is. It might have been Eric, and that might be on a boat still going back and forth between uh, Claire and Eric <laughs> and Horizon. But, uh, oh, remember his boat? That was funny. Oh, that's his backpack. <laughs> But um, the like, somebody might have a writing kit in their their gear. Uh, I a don't. scroll case, funny enough. But, uh. <laughs> For that one scroll that you have that Eric's got. Funny enough, it's a scroll case that may help in something else. I'm just wondering. I've got a quill and a bottle of black ink. There you go. Yes. That was you, brilliant. But it was just I've got a letter from my dad. Now the question is, can you write? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's horrible if you couldn't. I just that like no. open that, write it on the back of it. <laughs> I mean, I mean yeah, that wasn't important, right? Okay. I'm sure, like between users, can come up with a bit of parchment, yeah. Yeah. As for I've sealing, I've got Air favourite book. <laughs> yeah. Be so angry if you took a, um... a, 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 a sheet of paper out of it. <laughs> I mean. It's up to you guys how you want to do this. I'm happy for you to have had a sheet of paper between you. Yeah. Uh, I'm you sure if, if you not, want to deface a book, you can. It's up to you. I'm sure if not, he could give us one, you know? Yeah, he seems like a giving. Yeah, he's an he? office. Yeah. I mean... I mean, it looks like he wants to give us a good beating by now, but hey. It's not that. He's just a bureaucrat, right? That's all it is. I know. He's an arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> because he doesn't just do what you want him to do. Potato, potato? <laughs> pretty much, Ryan. Pretty much. Um, right, okay. So, little office man. What's the plan? Um, I'll, I'll pipe up and say, there's no need for that, sir. Could we please have a piece of paper to to write to the princess? And I'm sure this can all be, be cleared up. His eyes narrow somehow even further, and he says, "This is not a merchant's stall, Miss." And he pushes his glasses up his nose. I know. If it was, I'd be trying to buy goods. I just very respectfully and politely asked for one piece of paper that I assume you have a lot of, and I'm trying to avert a situation in which um, her yeah. royal highness would be very upset with the. Uh, well, all of us for not managing to reach her simply due to a matter of um, paperwork. Fucking mic drop, man. Oof. He, he stands up straight and goes, Yes, and when you start respecting the formality of the correct paperwork, you will meet with your precious princess. And he nods at you. Mm, like, your precious can, princess, can too. And he kind of he smiles in that really meh kind of smile to you. This guy is such a job. I'm going to get this guy fired, <laughs> honestly. No, this is where you see <laughs> Andrew from the back Karen. say, everybody stand aside, Dracarys! <laughs> Pulls up the elbow. <laughs> I said fired, not fried. I know. <laughs> I mean, I'm good with either. I mean, I could do that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but no. I guess I'll build that map just now if you're going to fight. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. It's fine. I will come back. And uh, let's... I, I say, it's fine. We we will be back. And I kind of give him a look kind of like, you know, you're causing me unnecessary trouble. You are in trouble sort of thing. Like, mm-hmm. I'm giving him a dirty look, essentially. And I said, come on. Good we day, have Karen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly! Exactly, kind of like, good day, Karen. I think that's all he's given you. Hey, Joe, yeah. that's... <laughs> oh, well. Like, I'm, I'm not a Karen, you're a Karen. <laughs> right, okay, so you head out the office then? Uh-huh. I guess so. And I'll ask Kesslet, I'll be like, um, so where would the nearest store would be that the sales writing supplies He's of course we just need some paper birth. and yeah but we don't have paper do we oh but... uh, so i said just like i said between you you can rummage up a piece of parchment yeah oh 
Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. In that case, we'll be fiercely writing somewhere. I mean, we could totally use Crumbar's back as a writing surface. <laughs> and um, or one of the many books you carry, you could just lean on one of those, or the ground, or like yeah, a but bench. that would be more fun. You could go to gardens, yeah. Like there's there's definitely somewhere you could sit and write, yeah. Or yeah, Crumbar's back. Boring. Exactly, yeah, yeah, that's that's more interesting. Nice. And we then start a, a letter towards Justoria that would be hopefully a bit coded, right? But still, kind of like, we're here, we tried to reach you. This I little annoying man didn't let us. Alive. Please get him fired. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, let's see. Letter to Justoria. Type exactly what you want to write in it. I was hoping you would not say that. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Rainwood wishes to you uh, to Have arrange important. a meeting uh, as soon as possible. You can bullet point as well. I don't need you to like obviously specifically word it. I don't mind if you just. I need the gist of what the details would be because obviously it's going to be read by somebody that isn't yeah. her. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. <laughs> yeah. So I want to be totally. Uh, regarding the trade deal between the Rainwood Estate and Horizon. Uh, 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 regarding the ongoing negotiation of the trade deal between Horizon and the Rainwood Estate. Uh. And those one that is or happy as is? Your yeah. front desk clerk is a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Please be informed we have had issues reaching you. It's his job to be a cunt. Yeah. Please be informed. <laughs> his name wow. is Phil. Phil Ter. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to choose to ignore it. <laughs> yep. Uh, there we go. But yeah, <laughs> so you write that down, uh, fold it up. I don't think MD has an envelope, but it doesn't really matter. You can just hand it over, I guess. Um, who takes it back in? Mm. Aria. Aria. Yeah, I'll do it. Uh, yeah. The big skinny orc. Might what language should you write one. it in? Or might be the best one. I would assume common. Yeah, that's fine. I just would like to know in case she's then. Several sessions like, well, obviously, we would have wrote that in, you know, ancient draconian. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I may be learning Infernal, but I'm not gonna, you know, you start it writing it, it just burns the paper <laughs> before you. <can> <laughs> 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 oh, that would be so beautiful. Oh, dear, it's like stupid Infernal. <laughs> oh, so that's why there's no paper in hell. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, Arya, you walk back in. Um, there's like an uncomfortable like movement of the chair he's sitting on as he's sat there looking at you. And you just walk up and he just stares at you the whole time you're walking up to the desk. And then he says very slowly, Good day. How can I help you? I'll be like, Could you please ensure this gets sent to 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 the princess, or at least seen by people, they would then alert the princess of its contents. He kind of looks at you, he nods, and then with the quill that he's holding, he like gestures to the, uh, like, your left, it would be. Um, and there's like a big marble box that's got a big letter slit in it. <laughs> big letter box. I nod my head and I'm like, oh, sorry, hadn't noticed, and I pop it in there. And then you see, obviously, like, it's maybe because there was a big golem that had stepped a couple of steps in front of it last time. You know, maybe that's why you hadn't noticed. Um, yeah. I just imagine it's like every customer service bit where it's like, where is this? And you literally just point and in like massive letters, it is what you're after. Uh -huh. <laughs> there was one event I was helping out at and if... They kept coming up going, oh, do you know where the nearest toilets are? And I'd literally just point behind them. And on, honestly, there couldn't have been any bigger signs on the back wall saying toilets. And I was like, just point. 
It does, like it's usually the most <laughs> obvious things as well, isn't it? Usually yeah. the most obvious things. Like, do you know how to get to here? Yeah, it's next door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, like if you'd actually gone one shop over, you'd have been it. So, yep, you've pushed it in, yeah. Are you? Oh yeah, yep. yeah, pops it in. Cool. And Lots of magical inbox noise. Ding. <laughs> Thank you for your deposit. No. <laughs> and then you. Uh, <laughs> Then you head uh, back to the group. Oh yeah. Cool. So, uh, Kitlith, you've got about what thirty-five minutes of being living left. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, time to rob some people, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh dear. Uh, but yeah, what's the plan? Well, I guess. Now? So Arya, you um, you start to approach the group again. They're all maybe sitting around. I don't know a water feature of some kind. Yeah, I'm like, okay, it's delivered. I don't know uh, how quickly it will be seen, though. Yeah, probably best stay in this form for a bit longer, as long as possible, really. Likely, yes. So what do you do then? Just wait. We'll give it half an hour. <laughs> yeah, cool. We'll Literally, because it's all the just, just stand and wait, staring at him intensely. As it shimmers off you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, like, what does everybody else do then? We've got, we've got about half an hour time bubble to kill, so... Um, are we waiting inside, or are we... No, he's outside at a water feature. Um, okay, well, I guess I'll... Try and teach Arya some more languages. Yeah. Yes. Okay. What about yourself, Reach? What are you up to for half an hour? I'm actually wondering, would it not be best just to sit in there for like the 29 minutes to see we're waiting? <laughs> <laughs> nah, because, because you know, Especially the upper class don't not. wait. Uh, we have more important things to do. Yeah, but do get the guards to wait sometimes. Mm. Also, it just depends how quickly you think they'll get to that letterbox. Yeah. Are we still there watching, gardening, any, or looking after it with them? Neither, though, you can't see in. Uh, yeah, I uh, don't know. Throw pebbles into the fountain. Yeah. Do you have pebbles what to throw? Picture? Yeah, they're lying in the fountain. Somebody's <laughs> chucked them in already, so I'll pick them up and throw them in. There's again. probably pennies in the fountain, though. <laughs> there probably is, but I'm not going to touch them. That sounds, yeah. I mean, you could throw, Trouble you could throw a penny in and make a wish if you wanted, yeah. throw a copper in. Yeah. Actually, whilst well, I've got time, I've got a. Uh, I don't know, copy and paste. I've got time for a prayer, I think. Can I use these? To make a prayer to uh, the great gold worm, tell him of Gil, what we know of Gil. Yeah. And asking for an answer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> totally can. A reply. Yeah. yeah uh, do you want to just summarise it as to tell him what happened to Gil? Or yes. Do you want to, do you want to add specific details in? Specific details of where we saw him, what he was doing, what he told us to do, and. So, uh, Gil took us to the Abyss, big thing came out of the Abyss, or the big breach in the Abyss, because the Abyss is the cavern, uh, or the yeah. canyon, sorry. Then, Gil took us there, big rip in space, things came out, Gil stayed behind. By the way, did you know he's a dragon? Probably because you're his da. And then, <laughs> he says, go get da. By the way, cool dragon. Yeah. Also, this <laughs> yeah. may have been months ago. <laughs> <laughs> We've had many uh, meals since. <laughs> um, anything else you want to add, or is that the gist of it? Uh, that and can you give me a sign if you understand this? Because we've been trying to find you. Yes. Okay, uh, yeah, right. right. Give me a religion check. Mm. Don't say I've done one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got, I do have it. I've noticed I've mm -hmm. got it somewhere. There it is, right. Should be good at it. Oh well. Ah, uh, should be. I'm not. It's okay. Crap. No. So, maybe this is something you haven't done in a while, right? Yeah. Um, Apparently not. 
Like, what do you do? Do you try and center yourself? Like, this has probably not helped. But... Mm -hmm. So do you sit for... Like, can you, you like... sit med cross-legged meditating, mm -hmm. can you think, Wisdom? Yeah. Much like your character art, basically. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Good works. Uh, also, if people don't know what this character art looks like, dump that in chat as well. So, you do that, and then we'll have a, some rules from our our scholars next. Uh, Wait, do you want to give me... Form? Yeah, so you give me performance, right? And we'll have... Pacha! That was terrible. <laughs> and then, can you, uh, Arya, can you roll Arcana, but can you give me a 6 on Arcana? Just so I've got 666 for this. Because that would be... <laughs> That's like what I was just thinking. Uh, the, the, the. I almost made it a 16, yeah, you know, that, that, that would have been nice. Yeah. I mean, 14 is half of 6, right? I do, um. What happens is, you get you get a better grip of what he's told you already. Like, he's kind of like reinforcing things, but maybe it's because Crumbar's distracted that he's going over stuff he's already taught you. Maybe it's because he's not taught you in a couple oh, yeah. of like, weeks or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's maybe been that... Also, because I'm being a bit too polite to like actually tell him, like, so yeah, okay, we're I also going to do a, a thing here because I'm, I'm a lovely GM. I did say this last time because you weren't here, but all the traveling from the camp you've made down to the hellhole, I did say if you had wanted to do something, you could have. So, Ooh, yeah, yeah, at yeah, some yeah. point, you could have done this again there. So, Crumbar's going to give me a flashback yeah, performance roll, and then we'll see how that went back in the day. I did yeah, say I would do that. Tanner says it's going to be like a fucking two. <laughs> it's an Why upside do I roll... down six. Why do I roll? It's a drunk it. six. <laughs> when it comes to this, I don't think I've ever rolled good ones. <laughs> I think you did once. Um, but yeah, right at the start. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. You've again. It's mostly like. Well, just assume those two. Those are written off to the travel from the last session. Uh, those two new ones, but the last two there are still the ones from this one. And yeah, he's... Are you notice that he's definitely going back over stuff that you are comfortable with now, in terms of Infernal. Yeah. It's just... For crying out loud, I know how to say Mistress of the Flame by now! <laughs> Fire! So, Fire. yeah, why is it Crumbar is either distracted or forgetting about like where his place is with this, or... Probably, for this one, I'm probably just a wee bit distracted because we are, you know, sitting just by a public fountain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's so it's maybe that like kind of, yeah. So it's maybe that kind of way I'm like, crack, this is how you say, wait a minute, checks around everywhere. Crackle, crackle, crackle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. Obviously we've got, Meanwhile, uh, I'm kind of thinking, if he keeps going over the same things over and over again, even Kitty will learn. Infernal by accident <laughs> while I'm trying to learn it on purpose. Well, that's it. Um, Some morning, can we roll for learning biosmosis? Can you think just by from those rules? No, so long? not from his performance. <laughs> no, see if he critted, maybe. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, so can you imagine him and if he critted in a plaza, like talking <laughs> and teaching and whatever, and everybody around him kind of learning a bit from him because he's shot a good team. I mean, there are probably people here that speak incredibly well at Infernal, to be honest. I mean, it is the city of magic, so... Yeah. Rub it in, won't you? It's just not your teacher. <laughs> <laughs> well, that doesn't... No, to be fair, Crumbar's doing well for what he was designed to do, which was not teach people languages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless the language hard. was pain. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, so... Could not. Sophie, yep. uh, as... Sorry, Kitless, I should say. Are you doing anything in your, like... 30 minutes of waiting? Probably just sitting there trying to look all, you know, regal or, mm -hmm. I don't know, important. <laughs> <laughs> Must not drop the mask. <laughs> and then um, you turn around and you obviously see, like, Reach with, like, a scroll opened up and, and sat cross-legged in deep thought. And then, obviously, Arya and Crumbar just, like, crackling and, you know, sparking. I guess, between each other. <laughs> um, but yeah, the... 
the half an hour passes then, you've got about five minutes of being Livian again, if you want to duck in somewhere. Yeah, I'll just... Maybe hide behind Crumbar. Yeah. I'm not that scary. No, it's so I can transform back into Kit. Oh, right, 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 right. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, do you want to give me a stealth check while you do that then? And you can have advantage because Crumbar's helping. <laughs> uh... I should have put my glasses on. There it is. There we go. Crumbar really helped. Oh, yay. Yeah, yeah I'm good for something. Yeah, it was good for still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, so you both feel pretty Best confident that uh, you just don't, uh, don't raise any suspicion. Somehow, in the <laughs> middle of a plaza, where a man wearing bright gold armour just stands in front of you. Maybe he stood in, in such a way. I think something. he stood in the sunlight, so they glittered his uh -huh. blinded. There you go, in. perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the shine from the armour. Shine. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, so your illusion falls, and yeah. What next? I guess we'll try again tomorrow. We need, yeah, if we do, and unfortunately we probably need to find somewhere quite expensive to stay. <laughs> Luckily, we've well, got um, well, I mean, she's not living mother? now, so. Nah, but yeah. Eh. But if somebody it's like really hard to... thing is we, though, yeah, if somebody we're... looks into the fact that Livian Rainwood is in town. Yeah, but doesn't have a room. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, that will raise suspicion, but that's tomorrow's problem, right? Yeah. <laughs> You've still got like a whole day you can do stuff in. The lady could not wait for uh, your slow service. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <I'm> sorted. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, what's the plan? These are all sat around. Um, really don't know. I mean, does anyone want to buy any? Get a room somewhere, and we get her supplies? into um. I was thinking we'd put like a cloak on her or something and then get her like in a hotel, like a really nice inn. So you, I think you missed the part because I think you were away for it, but her disguise is off now. It's gone. It's already gone. Sorry, last time I heard it, she That's had okay. five minutes left of it. Yeah, but she used that five minutes just to turn back. She got Crumbar to help her. That's the stealth rule at the end of the chat log. So she got Crumbar to help her, like, hide her, yeah. and then she shifted back just so nobody spotted her. And yeah, nobody spotted her, so... Because mm -hmm. I'm a big boy. <laughs> yes. Shiny boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Yep, literally. I'm just checking through things. I don't think I need to get in right now. Could have been Yuzarna, as I said. A big city with a big market. And they want to dance, and now would be the time to get it. I mean, I'm pretty stocked up, to be fair. I don't. Yeah. I'm not surprised. <laughs> 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 of all the people. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we I could stay that. in the Golden Order, couldn't we? They've got one of them in the city, right? Um. Well, you would know. <laughs> Well, you would know, Mr. Golden that, Order. That is a good point. I would know. <laughs> Basically, um, everybody would know except me. Um, right? There is there's a Golden Order hall here. Yep. One in every let's, city. Take, let's take a store over there then, because I don't want to pay for shit. <laughs> yeah, cool. Um, Sorry, yawning. So, Kitleth, roll history for me. Disadvantage. Oh man. Yeah, because it's not something you'd have been specifically looking out for. Is that where it turns out that Kitty tried to rob them? <laughs> no, it's just that um, <laughs> while she's maybe aware that there is maybe one here, because she's maybe heard somebody mention it, where it is, she doesn't know. Um, as for you guys, I don't think you've ever been, as we discussed, you haven't been to Horizon before. So, yeah. So, does somebody want to take the lead on looking around the city with moving parts and survival with advantage if somebody's helping? I'd 
I'd suggest Kitty. Uh, I'll maybe help. Yeah, like, I'd probably I'll know people. Yeah, follower, not makes a sense. Yeah. So a survival Kitty with advantage. Okay, yeah. I think it probably takes a good bit of the day because you end up going to places where oh. you're sure it was, but there's like a baker's there. Or like a the portal's changed. God dang uh, it! Yeah, like the layout just seems to keep changing. Um, every, like for some reason, there's an unnecessary amount of rug shops as well. Like, <laughs> is this the same one? Are you yeah. sure? They didn't have that sale on in the other one. <laughs> damn the FS sale. Yep. Um, they never <laughs> end. <laughs> but yeah, you get um, there and you get to the order hall. Obviously, big, you know. Neon gold dragon sign outside it flashing on and off, obviously. Um, <laughs> it does not have that. And uh, you get up to there, and obviously, who's. It'll be, I assume Kitty you wouldn't just walk in, you'd let one of them walk in. Yes. So, I would definitely be hidden. Well, not hidden, hidden, but like, <laughs> not the first one in. <laughs> uh, uh, so, Crumbar or Reach, whatever one of you goes up to the door, uh, it's shut, it doesn't open. Hmm. Not the home, quite possibly. Yeah. Okay. Maybe try knocking. That would always be open if there was somebody in. Yeah, order halls are always open, like always. I am. Well, that is suspicious. Oh, it means the shit's hit the fan elsewhere. Oh. Yeah, like the, it's a good assumption because remember, everybody was being recalled to the Citadel. Yeah. And the one place it doesn't really need, like. Magic help, if you will, is the city full of wizards. Because if something weird and magical appears, the wizards can deal with it, right? So, Glitter Hagen doesn't have a Justoria looking after it, basically, is what I'm saying. No. So. Right. Yeah. Also, possibly zombie apocalypse, but we'll get to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From the wonderful Pantharia episode. Jeez. Oh my god, that was fucking gorgeous, that one. <laughs> so, yeah, get there. Like, I mean, you could try breaking the door down if you wanted. I mean, I don't think that's a smart idea going with my history with trying to break things down. Yeah. You'd probably break your uh, new axe. Yeah, I don't Maybe want. Some kind of like words to recite like you know aloha <laughs> yeah, maybe, open sesame yeah maybe you yeah. maybe you turn to reach or grumbar and ask that is that is there not some universal unlock word or something as i said yeah. you just know that it's never shut like if there's yeah, it's, yeah yeah it's never shut, so no, <laughs> yeah. nobody really ever challenges the golden order. Like it's not like people yeah. like piss them off because the only thing they do is keep people safe from like demons. So <laughs> magic unlocks things. Just open the door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, this was a waste of time. And remember, like Horizon doesn't have any guards. Remember, there's no like just generic soldiers walking around. Is there not? Make me wonder. Yeah. See the person that they also gave the key to. I hope he survives whatever it is that's happening. <laughs> um, there's no keyhole or anything on yeah, the door. Uh, spell. Right. Mm. Is it something we would know? Like, is it kind of like a universal thing? My lord. That's what I was asking. <laughs> Scott's on that delay again. Okay. Well, can I? Can I? Roll something, history. For what? What are you trying to work out? To, to know if I would know the door opening thing. There isn't a door opening thing. The door's never shut. That's what you and Reach know. No Golden Order door ah. is ever locked. For like the Golden Order. So it doesn't open. So the fact or... that there's a door here is weird for you. Yeah. Right. Okay. The fact it doesn't open is not unusual. The fact it's shut is unusual. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I also. can I kick the door. Yeah, you kick the door. Do you want to break your leg? Take another six hit points. No, it's just uh, <laughs> you kick the door and yeah. Well done. Congratulations! It didn't jump out the way. Its AC was pretty low. 
Mm. You hear the clank of your like plate mail boot clunk off it. Although I think technically you don't get plate mail boots because your boot slots are open for other things while wearing plate mail, like your hands, which I think is weird. I just like to believe that by default you get gloves and boots. <laughs> hmm. So yeah. Letter is posted to the princess. No infernal has been learned this day. Livian's time amongst us has perished for now. And the Golden Order is sealed for some reason. I don't get that. Like, why? Golden Order is out of order. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no vacancies. Um, no, but Scott, the reason for that, again, hopefully your consciousness sticks with us as for, instead of this weird phasing in and out. But they all were recalled to the Citadel, remember? Yeah, yeah, but. So there's nobody in the building. Yes. But door. Exactly. We're never... Who put the door there? Right. Is the door gold? Of course it is. <sighs> Why wouldn't it be? Everything else is. I say we go to the pub and get drunk. And to everything. It always ends up good, though. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks back to his like one night stand. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was just more on about Eric losing all his money. Um, <laughs> no, but I mean, I'm guessing right. We're can of stay here, so I'd suggest that we go to a hotel-y place. Like a town. Yeah. Won't Kitty have some kind of housing here? No. Stares intently at her. No, I probably just like found empty places and like slept there. Yeah, 100%. I see that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like you probably kept an eye on people, to... like fancy people of the town, and when they went like on holiday and such, probably yeah. went to you know borrow their place for a while. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, the only other place then would be to go to a tavern, a hotel place. Mm -hmm. And there are plenty of those in town. Kitty, lead us to the best one. I'll oh, lead you to the cheapest one. <laughs> That's that what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, a reasonably priced, because the cheapest one will be like, you lose all your belongings in sleep. <laughs> <laughs> right, yo, so let's find, let's find a tavern name. Two seconds, I'll get you... One. Uh, right, so what what are your parameters for this tavern, Kittles? Um, Safe enough to actually all of us get asleep, not. So, get on the scale of um, cheap, normal, and expensive, no. by that I mean risky, normal, and safe, you're going for normal. Oh, that's not safe, is it? <laughs> not unsafe like the cheap option is no <laughs> so poor common or good that's the three drop down options I apparently have on dungeon because they must have heard me say that <laughs> how much is good again it's shed loads in it uh, in horizon like yeah. yeah yeah but you just have a bunch of gold right between you I mean yeah yeah we've got we've got stacks so yeah we're quite rich we sold out all those villagers so quickly. <laughs> Don't forget who scared them off. <laughs> so on each other's character sheets, what, what do you have, money-wise? What are 56 you? platinum. Uh, 51 platinum and 20 gold? Yeah. 36 platinum and 12 gold. So yeah, you still have... A decent amount of money. So let's go get a fancy place. I want a bubble bath. <laughs> I'm not sure they have baths big enough for you. No, oh, I can a bubble bath with a rubber duck. That's a picture. Mm -hmm. of that. <laughs> hey, leave my du rubber ducks out of it. <laughs> I mean, the duck in is seeming like the place to go to, isn't it, really? Hey. Uh, Right, so, 
a good place and yeah let's bring up some prices then and you got a price list offhand it's, why would we because uh, everybody has a player's handbook right was there hotel prices in there uh, services and such yeah of course there is everybody does yeah, totally <laughs> read that yep yep i know i know that's uh, right Right, so where are we here? Rent gave right, so me monitors. I'm... Rent is wizard. How on earth? Mm. That's really weird, isn't it? Why would that? Is. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. Okay. So in stay. Right. Are we going to go for? We've got aristocratic, wealthy, comfortable, modest, poor, squalid. So I think we want to arist aristocratic, aristocratic, just because it sounds baller. Okay, so it'll be four gold pieces per night each. That's yeah, actually quite cheap. It's all right, isn't it? Oh, is that, I think is you that need to remember how much four gold to a normal person is. Aye, <laughs> not normal. Yeah. <laughs> how much is the fancy ass place then? That is that aristocratic, is the, fan yeah. the fanciest mm -hmm. ass place. Is that is that the fanciest? Yeah, four gold yeah. per night. Yeah. That's like ten star and all that. Mm -hmm. they, they wipe remember, your ass for remember you. Remember when I said you, you guys to <laughs> you just took like seven villages worth of entire life fortunes? Yeah, yeah we really did this kind of enter cheat mode. <laughs> no, I think it's called, just going to hell, it's called but thief we've... modes, but yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, we entered the cheat gnome code on Sims. <laughs> like Rosebud several times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, but yeah, so you can go to Aristocratic for a few nights. Um, yeah. So, Hello. yeah, let's get that name then. Right, so what will we call it? The Broken Spear is a great name. That's what the random generator gave me. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's a great type of name. The Broken Spear, how fitting. <laughs> mm. yeah. Right, um, Right. so you can all get separate rooms, right? Because it's going to be four gold per night. Yeah. So everybody, everybody loses four gold. Yeah. Yeah, you can yeah. basically you can buy a floor, right? You you rent out a floor <laughs> for the night. Yeah. And right. in, in the broken spear, <laughs> the other one it's refreshed, right? And it's giving me the wizard's candle. There's another one. Oh, that's <laughs> a good one as well. Yeah. Uh, is it cold and it's a small candle, or is it nice and warm? The wizard candle is probably going to be uh, bright, but doesn't burn paper, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so you're in the broken spirit inn, and yeah, place is nice, place is fancy. Crumbar, you can definitely get yourself a bubble bath. Uh, that will cost you. Yeah. Uh, see for like entire like hygiene services, if we'll just call it that. Um, that would be like a gold. And people will come wash you. I feel beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think the one above it is what <laughs> we see. <laughs> I mean, that also. <laughs> it's, it's like the bottom one, what Crumbar looks like in his head, but yeah. the top one. <laughs> <is what they're laughs> yeah. Crumbar is a beautiful mermaid. We know it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you get yourself some people to come wash you, and yeah, what does it? What does it do? Do you all like hang out in somebody's room? Because they're all probably sweets that you get, right? Like a full-on sweet. I like sweets. <laughs> so, or you just all have a night to yourselves? Yeah, pretty much. Uh well, yeah. I would say we've got like one lounge room or whatever, and we're all yeah, because we've got the floor, so we've got kind of something like that. Well, so it's a floor, so and everybody has like a bedroom that has a lounge area within their own bedroom, and like a bath, yeah. like tub and such as well, a big marble bathtub. Um, so yeah, you just can all hang out in somebody's room. Whose room are we hanging out in? Not mine. Well, Crumbar's in the bubble bath, so everybody's in Crumbar's room then. While he's in the bubble Yay. bath, getting <laughs> Or just chilling, I guess. You're welcome to chill in the bubble bath. <laughs> no, I'm in the bubble bath. I want it to be nice and warm, not cold. Ah, I see what I did there. I see what you did there. 100 damage. <laughs> <laughs> and Crumbar was no more. 
But he went the way he wanted to in aristocratic lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so what do you talk about? What's the conversation starter? And she's all hanging out. Splish splash, I was thinking about. Um, Do you think the magic mail would be quicker, wouldn't you? This <laughs> letter we sent to Justoria, but anyway. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping she gets back to us. Like, I'm actually worried she's not here, but. That's... Mm. Well, that was the th- that's the thing. Like, see if she if she wasn't here, surely they would. Tell you it might take some time, but yeah, that's debatable. I mean, if yeah, you were in charge of protecting awesome. the princess's like business interests, would you tell everybody she's not in? No, that's not a smart thing to do. I mean, it could be. But it's also like saying, "Hey, look, Horizon's potentially vulnerable." Mm. I mean, that's another thing, but. But yeah, so he's discussed the pros and cons of how long mail takes. Yeah, time ticks on. There's a mini bar if people are brave enough to lift bottles from their designated spots. So, <laughs> well, William Crumbar's room. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, no, no use of the mini bar. <laughs> um, right. So I think the main thing we'd need to look at is basically being. Uh, thing if I can't English today Um, right if we don't have if uh, that letter hasn't got to her by tomorrow then what do we do yeah I think we should go to the solar plexus Uh, the golden (laughs) citadel I mean Uh, Okay. I was like the solar plexus. I'm like, I don't know if he means the golden citadel or if he means yeah, the celestial nexus. I didn't yeah. know which one you meant. Yeah, yeah. I, did, I was looking at the notes earlier, then something just put it down as the solar plexus. <laughs> <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> I got in my head that. <laughs> Look, investigating the solar plexus for eight years. <laughs> I mean, that was a very short, like sore shoulder, I guess. Like, but yeah. Uh, So I do you think we should go to the Golden Citadel if we don't hear anything pretty much first thing? Uh, should we tell them on our way before we go or something? Uh. So I obviously mean front chest, but, but yeah. <laughs> front chest? What? The solar plexus. Oh right, right. I, 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 I also can't English. Sorry, I was, I was thinking of like a treasure chest. I'm like, um, I think I, sh- I, th- I think I need to lie down, guys. <laughs> so yeah. So Reach suggests heading to the Citadel. Yeah. If yeah, I mean, I think that'll probably be our best bet because there's no point in just hanging about here. Um, I'm sure. I I mean, I know he the guy at the front desk was annoying, but. At the same time, it'd be like if we showed up being like, ah, yes, we we have an audience with Justoria, it'd be like, yo, she ain't home. Go somewhere else. I mean, that's what I think would have happened. Or maybe, mm-hmm. or, or am I going crazy? Crumbar says from the tub. <laughs> Just bathtub thoughts. <laughs> I know, right? It's where I get all my best thinking done. I imagine you're wearing the little cap as well. <laughs> no, like a like cap. a wee shower cap. Mm-hmm. That's got flowers on it. Mm-hmm. Obviously. Hey, when I bathe, I bathe in style. <laughs> so, uh, how are you going to get to the Citadel? Right. Boat probably is quickest. Mm-hmm. It definitely is. Yeah. So boat then? Uh, yeah, we'll probably magic. To... Is boat anybody here to... able to teleport us there? Nope. We're in the magic city. 
Oh, yeah, that's a good they point. Say. Oh, can I think? Is not a, a friendly wizard too good? A friendly like, neighborhood wizard? Uh, yeah. I mean, for a, a prince, friendly there's definitely yeah. like, people that can do stuff, yeah. Well, stuff along the lines of teleporters. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that, that can happen if you say uh, find the right person. If we find the right person here. Yeah. If, Kitlith, are you aware of any good wizards here? Preferably cheap ones? We are <laughs> Those are two. Ones. That's an oxymoron. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. What should I roll a history or something? I don't know. I need him to like give you something you can roll on. Because good and cheap doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah, that's sometimes good. When's it been kicked out the order and willing to if, if, if work for food? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, hedge wizards, you say. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually think there is a price for this. Uh, let's see if I can find it. It's not in the main handbook, I don't think so. Let me find this. Services. Uh, and it'd be history, it'd be a role for history for a kit of shoes to try and conjure somebody up. From memory. Let's see if I can find this. How common are they? Hmm. Uh, people to teleport you places in Horizon, probably fairly common, right? Fairly it's, common, yeah. I think, yeah. Like, it's, it's not the, like, of all the places to do that role with, and of all the people to do that role, this is a good matchup, right? Yeah, if, I mean... If you were, like, say, Crumbar in a... Santa Cora, for example, the religious -y place, um, which is further to the east from the Golden Set deal. Like, that would be a much more difficult role, right? I take offence. From where? There are no fences. Mm -hmm. uh, right, let me just go well, then, then, what's keep, sure then what's it's... keeping me in the bath? <laughs> like a, a marble fence? Is that what you're going to go for? Okay. <laughs> Um, five I years. mean, how do you bath? Services. Let's see if I can find you something. I ever notice how rubber ducks always end up falling head down? They can't even swim. They always want to drown themselves. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's how I they mean, think of what they've I seen. Think. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> well, they're sticking their head down to see more of it, really. <laughs> <laughs> and inevitably to end it all. <laughs> Let's see. You've clearly never seen ducks on a pond. Yeah, that's well. Wait, ducks are real? For some reason, <laughs> yeah, rubber ducks just can't swim. Spells and what levels teleport is like quite a high level quite spell. High. I think it's a level seven spell. I'm sure. Like that oh just wow! Now. Yeah, I think you do some some math. Annoying. We all love math. Let's see. So teleport. He's are pretty familiar with the location because you've got two people from there, which is easy. Yeah. Um, and then let's see. That is at level seven. Let me find that spell is raise a dead. That's not what you want to do. Not this one. No. I mean, I'd maybe, bookmark that one for later. Yeah, it may be handy by the time we get to this goal to set um, down, but yeah. Yes, so to cast teleport on the group, 700 gold. How much is a platinum? 10. 
10. 70 platinum. So, we're taking a boat. <laughs> I'm happy to take a boat. <laughs> I am more than happy to take a boat. Nice having money. <laughs> Sorry, more maths, Ryan. How much is the boat? How much is the boat? Uh, a lot less. A lot less. Uh, <laughs> give me two seconds, I'll get you that price. That One price. platinum, or less. Uh, it's probably, like per person, it's probably a lot less than that. Um, keep in mind that your stay in super fanciness was a... Only four. Yeah. Let's see. Where is travel? Travel was here two seconds ago. Previous page. Travel. Why is it only telling me how to buy a boat? <laughs> what? How? How to buy a boat? Buy a boat. If you've ever wanted a long ship, it's ten thousand gold. By the way, a keel boat is three thousand gold. A galley is thirty thousand gold. So there you have it. Uh, Hundred platinum. We could afford that, but that's we're cheaper. Um, but I but I'd say it's like thing. it's probably not going to break a gold each, right? It's probably less than a gold each, but I to travel there, I uh, from where you are to there. Hmm, I just see it's a silver each, to be honest. I think it's probably cheap enough. We have jumped this bit quite quickly. So even if we take a boat, we're probably going to arrive about the same time as the ones from Glitterhagen. Hmm. I think, first of all, we need to wait Not for really, the next tomorrow. because you took weeks to get down from, from a Savine, do not the Valley of Savine. Do hammer time. Oh, he's went from the Valley of Savine down to the Hellhole uh, on foot, and it took weeks. Yeah. So, yeah, a boat from Glitterhaven think... to uh, the Gold Order would already be there. I think it, anyway. First of all, we need to check to see if that letter has got to Justoria. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Right, we all sleep tonight, and we get up really early. Right. right? Yeah. Whatever's happening, we agree to that anyway. So you get your and headphones also, back it's, by it's, the way. Uh, yeah. And Do it's um, one silver piece per mile, apparently, for ship's passage is the exact cost, according to the book yeah. I found it. So, there you have it. But I'm just, one silver each will do, because I can't be bothered doing more complicated maths to work out the miles between it. So, and me. It's, it's a very oh. reduced rate, per that way, because it'd be like a hundred, <laughs> it'd be like a, a hundred silver or something, so, which is like a platinum, I think. So let's just call it a silver, cause I'm, again, maths. Uh, but yeah, he's all asleep. If MD had to heal anything, Crumbar, he's got a, a long rest. Yay! Because you hate me. I don't, you just fell. That's all. Ding. I mean, you can almost, you can practically solo your own Excellent. kind of weird demonic chieftain, but you can't land on your feet. That's yeah. fine. Nah. You chose your battles. technically the ground through will light you. I just oh. want to get close to you. <laughs> oh, hold on. Mm. Click the wrong thing. <laughs> My finger twitch while I was trying to sort some it. She tries to drown you, Crumbar. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> Run away! <laughs> he comes running out the bathroom with like, the robe around his waist. <laughs> but yeah, you say, right, we'll get a, a good night's sleep. You just all go off to your rooms. You just sleep. Yeah. Seems yeah. right. Yeah, um, I'll just have a nap. Mm -hmm. And I think we will. Um, you know, meet up again in front of the uh, Justoria's. I mean, you could meet in the lounge, right? As I mean, we could the lounge of you know. I mean, we could do that. Yeah, mm -hmm. that would also be a good idea. Yeah, so you all meet downstairs in like the lounge lobby of the Broken Spear, and then yeah. Uh, so meet down there. Uh, right, guys. Shall we go check on our letters progress? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. First thing. Yay. Yeah. Take a wee stomp out. Um, I think again it'd probably be best if Adrian goes up and be like, Yo! Where my letter at? Hello? 
Unless Katie's going to do the... the old, oh, in fact, yeah. The old Katie, Livian. Katie. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Is Katie going to do a... A wee change? Um, yeah. I feel like I might have done that before I left the room. You can do it, yeah, if you wanted to have done that, yeah. Shall I just pop it in the... It means you'd have less time when you're there in the office because this well, is further I... away. Uh... And I say that in the loosest terms because you couldn't tell, like, aye, the time it'll take you to get there. But it's the difference between having like 40 minutes like you had last time and having like 15 or 10 minutes maybe. But enough time to go there and like talk to someone. Yeah, and then once we're in the Jastoria's like place we can like you know drop the act anyway she could maybe teleport us to the docks or something yeah like it, i mean i could just leave and it wouldn't really matter right <laughs> yeah yeah like he's not exactly going to question the fact that like five people or four people go in and then four people but one of them's different go out that's not <laughs> i mean he's not going to care about that um that probably happens all the time we just do mm -hmm. it but... yeah <laughs> But yeah, so you said there. Uh, is anybody doing anything on the way there, or just yeah. a straight line no, for it? Nothing else. Right. Yeah. Cool, cool. And you just head there. You just get in. Person at the desk is different. Oh. That's a coincidence. Mm -hmm. Those well, I mean, I'm guessing they have different staff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a dark elf woman. Is that behind the desk this time? Probably looks uh, up just before, like, I, like, I'm assuming, who walks in the first, Livian, probably? Yeah. Cool. Also mark off your, uh, your spell slot and such as well. I have you. Good, good, good. That was a DC 13. Mm -hmm. Cool. So yeah, you walk in, but uh, the clerk looks up before you even, like, step through the door. And then well. you head up to the desk, I assume. Take it from here. Oh yeah? I like that you walk into the room, turn to Arya, <laughs> say, Arya. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, do your job. <laughs> You're muted if you don't know that, are you? <laughs> I eventually figured that out. Okay. So, if said, <laughs> so if you'd said anything during the entire hotel scene, we probably didn't hear much. Of it. No, no, I, I, I would rather think that she didn't, she wouldn't be saying much in that moment, because well. She doesn't really handle that sort of things. I don't know. But we're now in the office of Justoria, as in yes, yeah. And Livian has just turned to you. <laughs> like, go explain. We thought it was a good idea at the time. <laughs> um, um. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> We're here to inquire about the letter we posted yesterday. Any news? And um, she smiles at you. It's a bit of a toothy grin. And she says, Good morning. Let me just check for you. Who was the letter addressed to? And what is your name? It was addressed to Princess Justoria, and I am. Um, <laughs> so close to saying Catwoman. No, I was just trying to remember what uh, Ms. Rainwood. <laughs> there we go. Lady Rainwood. Yeah, Lady Rainwood. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can. Lady Rainwood. If the Rainwood is dead. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> um, two seconds to work this out in my head. Okay. So, the kind of clerk lady looks up at you and she smiles. And you can clearly see it's like a practiced smile. 
Like you've probably done it yourself, Kitless, many times, where you're smiling because it's kind of part of your function at that point. And <laughs> uh, she uh, goes and checks like a book. So she goes into like a drawer, pulls out another book, like flicks through it, and says, "Yes, that mail was collected yesterday, I believe. It was signed in. Unfortunately, it has no reply yet." I okay. would definitely go and Princess is not here. That's... Well, thank you for your time and I hope you have a nice day. Bye. And then she politely like returns the same kind of greeting, you know, as if, you know, yes, you as well. Enjoy the sun, etc. <laughs> Enjoy the daylight that I will not see. Uh, it's actually, <laughs> um, you know, like, because you're a wood elf, you know that that's a, a very dark elf saying. It's a Almost flippant saying, in a way, because yeah. they don't like sunlight. Like, I get like an eye twitch, <laughs> like. Just, yeah, and they um like they actually get like penalties mathematically in the game if they're in direct sunlight. So. Oh damn. Yeah, so it's one of those things of enjoy what I can type statements. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, can you roll a, a wisdom save for me, Kitleth? Okie dokie. Cool. And now can you roll perception? <laughs> cool. It maybe dawns on you that was a dark elf you spoke to? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because as soon as you walked in, you knew it was going to be a dark elf you were looking at? Yeah, because you have the senses. Mm -hmm. So she would have sensed I wasn't a human. A human. Woman. Mm -hmm. yeah. Damn. So as you walk out, there is a bunch of people in multicolored robes staring at you, encircling the exit. Anyone that is well versed in the prismatic order will know that it's like the magic secret police. And oh man! There's, there's a row the of a, there's a row of go golems behind them. Well, they've thing. ruined that secret, we can see them. And the the leader of them, the women with kind of like kind of like a kind of blonde bob with like kind of almost like rainbow colours all through the back of it, all kind of splayed out. And she steps forward and she says I am placing you all under arrest. Is the prismatic order not bad guys? We, we end the session on that note, shall we see? But uh, to answer your question, Scott <laughs> The Prismatic Order are the magical police. So they all, like, Justoria founded them. Oh. Yeah. And they're not bad guys, no. Nobody would think of them as bad guys unless you're, like, a rogue wizard. Not, like, Sophie <laughs> who's playing a rogue wizard. <laughs> I'm just like, this is awfully, like, specific. <laughs> but I mean, a wily wizard, if you will. Um, or a nefarious wizard. But yeah. Or disguised as a, a lady trying to meet the princess. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, who knows? We'll find out, right? We'll find out next time. Yeah. Uh, what would you like to call this? Um... Um, <laughs> I, I, I still think no paper in hell would be funny. Yeah. Yeah. Or just papers, please. <laughs> papers, please is a good one, papers, to be honest. Please. I quite like papers, please, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so do I, actually. I think that's a winner. That's then. quite nice. Yeah. Yep, there we go. Uh, let us quickly review our goal list, shall we? So, get word to GGW or Gil. I'd say you're Probably definitely not. on the right track, I'd say, though, because let's face it, your plan is to get to the Citadel, right? And if yeah. Andy's heard anything, it'll be them. And the prayer angle is a good angle to focus on as well. So we mean to do it weeks ago in game time. It happens. <laughs> There's so much going on. Let's face it. Um, I'm assuming we're going to leave that in place. Um, yeah, then we've yeah. got figure out how to close hellholes as a team safely. That seems to still be in progress, unless you're wanting to change it. And then are you learning infernal from Crumbar? Bad crackle, rules crackle. are holding that back. Mm -hmm. As I said, one good pair of rules is what you need. 
for that to be complete, as I've said a few times now. That's that's just the usual two or three rolls that you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got lend or aid to the Citadel or aid to the Abyss, and that's probably going to help tie in with that first goal if it all ties together nicely. And figure out Aramos's location. So, do any of them are any of them getting shelved in the meantime until? Or you just want to put anything else in there as priority? Uh, I'm I'm good with them just now. Everybody else? We're okay at the moment as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Cool. And then it's just our review. So let's just start with Arya. So this was very much a. Uh... How how do we help this person stay under cover and get what we want session for quite a bit weird. I'm not really sure I played Arya very much in character. <laughs> um, it's also a wee bit of like a run-up because we've had, a, like I said, pretty much a month off. So it's a bit of a... Yeah. A bit of a warm-up to it again. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I'm trying very much to still play her the way I usually play Arya and not like some of my other more brash and fighty characters. <laughs> you and fighty in the same sentence just sounds weird. I'll have you know, Aenar's the one of the three, only three, uh, characters that are top level in the guild. Nice. Which Ooh. is level eight. Yes, he kicks ass very, very much. But yeah, he's different, very different from Arya, so it's very weird to play her and try to role-play diplomacy-like uh -huh. stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit of um, like a trying to fit back into a different pair of shoes, yeah. Exactly! Mm -hmm. um, exactly, after after so long. But that was very interesting, and it was funny to, to see, you know, real-life ideas of mm -hmm. bureaucracy deep into D&D, because mm -hmm. usually everything just happens so much easier in D&D than in real life, kind of like, oh, you need to go from A to B. Okay, eight hours pass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so obviously this was a lot more like, oh shit, so what do we say now? That, like, obviously when your sorcerer, who is literally how you get around conveniently, vanishes mysteriously, it's remembering, oh yeah, we used to walk places. God, we've not done that Whoops. in ages. Like, um, how do we do that again? But let's find out. So Scott, you're up next anyway. Crumbar. <laughs> I like... To be honest, all this. Eight, oh, for a start, I just like the fact that you know, yeah, we're playing again. We're so yeah, it's nice. Yeah, um, and just all the good banters were good. So yeah, good, good. Uh, I like that I didn't try and break down the door and break my hammer. Mm -hmm. You did uh, try and break what? down the door. Kicked it, but yeah, you didn't hurt your foot. Luckily, I think. But you, yeah, you I'm been like... in a good mood there for once. <laughs> I dare you. For once, oh, I, was I, 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 I was expecting a ten, a ten damage, but you know, I'm, I'm glad I didn't get a ten damage because that would have sucked. It's just because you always choose to fall through the hammer. That's why. <laughs> yeah. Anything else for that, Crumbar? No, no, just, just, yeah, Crumbar. Kitless. <laughs> um, or should I say Livian? <laughs> I know, right. <laughs> Uh, Living Kitty uh, Kitler Anastasia, yeah, yeah. It's complicated. That's your intro for next time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that was leap. the French oh, dude. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, that was interesting. Mm -hmm. I knew we should have just gone to the fucking boat first, but no, <laughs> no, no. We had to go check on the letter. Not that we would have got some magical note that said, hey, let's go to the place. I mean, that random jester found you that one time outside the Citadel, right? So Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Strange that. Yeah. <laughs> well. Uh, yeah. yeah. Anything else you add? I just like the idea of us all just having a night. Like an actual expensive night in. Yeah. yeah. Yep, being well fed. All right, this is... This is... This is where it turns out we're being arrested for the mess Crumbar left in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Um, what about yourself, Rich? It really was just finding a feet again, mm -hmm. wasn't it? It was more. Uh -oh. more... It was a proper warm-up session again. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. 
and trying to like remind ourselves what we were doing and why yeah. and where we're going and who needs what. Yeah, it does seem to be, obviously, excusing the arrest, heading to the Citadel is not the worst place to go. Um, yeah. It might be. We're really but... lucky the princess is arrested us and we'll get a teleport, a free teleport there. <laughs> so we... I feel that's not the case, but I still hope that's the case. It's nice to hope, but... though, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hope forward. Um, yeah. No, it was good. It was good, guys, to be back. Um, it'll be interesting to see how things pan out. These are all, I mean, these all have records now. Do you know what I mean? That'd be great. You'll be. N- no nefarious entities. Um, I mean, let's hope they don't bring up Kitty's past record. You know, all those attempted arrests. Wow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what or, was it? Me or was it at the sky? <laughs> I think it's all right. Are they arresting? Quick, Liv- pull out the mustache. What if they're arresting Livian for the house falling? Right? Like you just don't know. <laughs> I mean, can you really get arrested for a house? Yes. For your own house falling. Mm. Like. Depends you why you threw it, right? And who you, you his job. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that's just the insurance guys. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, we see your business was failing and then your house suddenly just vanished. Clever, I see. Oh uh, dear. But yes, so um <laughs> Aye, it was good. Uh we'll see everybody next time. No goals, no combat yet, so no XP as of yet. Mm. We'll see how the new goal system goes forward. If anyone's got any more ideas about that, let me know going forward too. And see everybody next time. Bye. 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 Bye.